Hey guys, I am back on the 14th with chapter 14 of 31 Days of Wisdom on the Book of Proverbs. Um, today is very dark, so I really hope that it is clear enough for you guys to see. So I'm just going to start reading. By the way guys, I am swollen again today. Allergies. I probably have the worst allergies I've ever seen ever. Yesterday we went to the park to go play with Skylar and I just came back and I was sneezing, I was sneezing. And then I took a nap and I woke up with a swollen face. So, yeah, that's my story. Anyways, let's get into it. The wise woman builds her house, but with her own hands, the foolish one tears her house down. Whoever fears the Lord walks uprightly, but those who despise him are devious in their ways. A fool's mouth lashes out with pride, but the lips of the wise protect them. Where there are no oxen, the manager is empty, but from the strength of an ox come abundant harvest. An honest witness does not deceive, but a false witness pours out lies. A mocker seeks wisdom and finds none, but knowledge comes easily to the discerning. Stay away from a fool, for you will not find knowledge on their lips. The wisdom of the prudent is to give thought to their ways, but the foolish of fools is deception. The folly of fools is deception. Fools mock at making amends for sin, but goodwill is found among the upright. Each heart knows its own bitterness, but no one else can share its joy. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the upright will flourish. There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end it leads to death. That's the one that stood out to me the most. Even in love that the heart may ache, but rejoice may end in grief. The, faith, the faithless will be fully repaid for their ways and the good reward for, their, for theirs. The simple believe anything but the prudent give thoughts to their steps. The wise fear the Lord and shun evil, but the fool is hot-headed and yet feels secure. A quick-tempered person does foolish things, and the one who deceives evil, scheme, deceive evil schemes is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Evildoers will bow down in the presence of the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. <coughs> the poor are shunned even by their neighbors, but the rich have many friends. It is sin to despise one's neighbor, but blessed is the one who who is kind to the needy. Do not those who plot evil go astray, but those who plan what is good find love and faithfulness. All hard work brings a profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. The wealth of the wise is their crown, but the folly of fools yields folly. A truthful witness saves lives, but a false witness is deceitful. Whoever fears the Lord has a secure fortress, but for their children it will be refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life, turning a person from the snares of death. A large population is a king's glory, but without subjects a prince is ruined. Whoever is patient has great understanding, but one who is quick-tempered displays folly. 
A heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rot the bones. Whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker, but whoever is kind to the needy honors God. When calamity comes, the wicked are brought down, but even in death the righteous seek refuge in God. Wisdom repossesses in the heart of the discerning. And even among fools, she lets herself be known. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin condemns any people. A king delights in a wise servant, but a shameful servant arouses his fury. Okay. Wow, that was actually really long. 35 verses. Holy gosh. Okay, so um, I did study it earlier, but I just decided to redo it because, I don't know, I think I missed a few things. Um, and I was using the New King James, so let's, let's just <laughs> do it together. So one of the instructions... Um, on chapter one where it says the wise woman built her house with her own hands is it's just to be a wise woman be a wise woman another instruction is number seven says stay away from a fool for you'll not find knowledge on their lips so stay away from fools they don't Speak knowledge. Uh, number seventeen. So to to don't be quick tempered. Because you won't make wise decisions when you're just lashing out. And number twenty six. Um, I think this is more of a life lesson, but I'll add this as a um, instruction as well. It says, Who fears, whoever fears the Lord has a secure fortress, and for their children it will be a refuge. So to fear the Lord to have to secure a future for your children. And children's children. Um, so the last one is wisdom repo reposes, reposes it to rest. Wisdom rests in the heart of the discerning. Wisdom rests. So another one is also, like 26 is also a promise to me. I feel like 26 is the number one that stood out. Um, but yeah, to, by fearing, it says, by fearing the Lord, you will secure fortress and for their children it will be. So I'll just go, you know, by fearing the Lord. you will have a secure future um, and then uh, 29 as well does come out as a promise it says whoever is patient has great understanding but one who's quick, quick tempered displays foolishness so it also goes hand in hand with don't be quick tempered um, so be patient Let me see if I can find another one. Number 11 says the house of the wicked will be destroyed. So that is a promise. So be careful if you are being wicked to people, evil. It won't last. 
I don't think anyone watching this is evil though. Okay. A life lesson that really, really does stand out for me is um, number 12. Number 12 and number 26, the one about the securing the future. Okay, number 12 says, there's a way that appears right, but in the end, it leads to death. So sometimes, I'll just write it that there's a, there are things that seem, uh, there are things that seem right to you. It could be any decision. Um, it could be anything that you, you don't put God first in. So, a job, or um, a relationship, or anything. Um, sometimes you find out that this person was killed by their husband or something like that. And I'm not saying God was not there, but it's just, probably God was showing that person signs that this person is not right to you, not right for you, but you just ignore the signs because you're holding on because you love this person or you have children. But um, at the end, it leads to death. So, yeah, it's quite sad, actually. So there's a way that seems... The way that seems right, it could be the one thing you regret for the rest of your life. Number 15 as well stands out. It says, the simple believe anything, but the prudent give thought to their steps. So don't be simple minded, give thought to your steps. The choice you will make today can change your life. Like today, the choice you'll make today can change your life just by giving thought. So to, I'll say to be prudent, to be prudent and, and give thought. To every decision. Basically pray when making a decision. And I struggle with that. I really do struggle with that. And sometimes when things don't work out, I'm like, I knew I should have checked with God first, you know? And pray. Pray for insights. What this chapter means to me is to just to put God first um, with all your choices and decisions. And they will, everything will be a success after that. Okay, um, my camera stopped recording, but that's okay. I think I was done anyways. So that is it for chapter 14. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really did I feel like every single day um, reading these chapters I am just learning so so much and it's simple things it's it's things like put God first you know it's things that I have been taught when I was when I was young you know to pray first pray before you eat pray before you leave the house you know and it's just simple things that as you grow up and as you you know leave home you tend to stop doing because your friends are not doing it or whatever but yeah i really hope this chapter helped someone today it did help me especially with don't be quick tempered and stuff like that i don't have a temper but i am quite short tempered um but yeah i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you tomorrow for day 15. bye